Now, graphic design in itself can be very broad. For one to say they are a graphic designer today can be a very broad term because contemporary graphic design can consist of an extensive range of areas and skills. Naturally, as one begins their creative journey as a graphic designer and develops their career, it is common for one to become specialized in a particular area or few. Gaining a lot of experience in a particular area and becoming a specialist in the design industry is good because you are seen as an expert, can command higher fees and are seen as a credible designer to offer specific creative solutions. All these reasons can install confidence with prospective clients and employers to help you get creative work. In this video, I'm going to discuss some key areas of graphic design because there are indeed a few. So if you're interested in getting into design, interested in graphic design particularly, and wondering where it can ultimately lead and what career options there are, then here you will learn some key areas, how they can relate to each other and where your creative career and path can lead. So let's get into it. So what are the key areas of graphic design? As a graphic designer today, there are quite a few areas of speciality with their own skill and requirements. So here in the center, we have graphic design, which can also be referred to as visual communication. Around this, the key areas are packaging design, logo identity design, branding, graphic illustration, design marketing, type design, publication design, web UI, UX design, motion graphics, surface design, and creative strategy. Now, I like to think of this like a flower, as at the base you have visual elements and design principles, which are the building blocks of graphic design. This leads to the center where we have graphic design, also referred to as visual communication, at the core, and around this you have each key area, which are like petals. So here you can see the vast variety of roles one can pursue as a graphic designer. Now, it's not expected for one to be an expert in each field. As you can see, there are a few, and each has their own skill sets, which can take years to master. Now, a young designer on a design course will be encouraged to touch upon and explore each area to practice and gain experience and understanding. How one chooses and specializes in a chosen area can come down to a number of factors. It normally comes down to a designer's decision, preference, talent, aptitude, and experience, which leads them into a key area. Typically, as a designer matures in the industry and develops experience and skill, one will become a specialist and build a career around just one or few key areas. Normally, it's only once you have been in the industry for a few years will you naturally gravitate to one or few areas. Today, it is common for some designers to be highly skilled and experienced in a few because some of these key areas go hand in hand with each other. For example, over the past seven years, I have been doing more and more creative strategy, logo identity and branding. So with my experience, skill, passion and body of work in these areas, I now only go for jobs in these key areas. So my skill set resides in these three key areas, which complement each other, creative strategy, logo identity and brand design. So let's take a look at each key area in a bit more detail and how they can relate to each other. Now, this is going to be a big video as I attempt to clarify various key areas for you to understand the scope of graphic design. In the description, I have placed timestamps for each role. So if you want to jump ahead or back at any time, you can do this really easily. So let's begin with packaging design. Packaging design is focused on the dynamics of containing and presenting products. When designing for packaging, you will be thinking more in 3D to consider how design can be applied to form, structure, and function, considering tactile materials. For packaging design, particular skills would be required for thinking in 3D, understanding materials, understanding print standards, paper engineering, 3D programs, design for print, surface design, creative software tools, and presenting. If you love working in 3D and like pursuing solutions for more print and tactile design, then you may want to focus on a career based more in packaging design. Complementary areas of expertise include branding, surface design, and creative strategy. So next we have logo identity design. Logo identity is focused on how to represent a company, 
business or product in the simplest visual way. When designing logos, you will be problem solving how a company, business or product can be represented in a single icon or typically accompanied with type to stand out from the competition. As simple as they seem, a lot of work can go into logo design. Today, it is not uncommon for some designers to only create logo design. For logo identity design, particular skills would be required for research and discovery, conceptual thinking, generating ideas, sketching and drawing, creative software tools, typography, color theory, and presenting. If you love the challenge of representing a company, business, or product, in the simplest visual way, then you may want to focus on a career in logo design. Complementary areas of expertise are creative strategy, graphic illustration, and type design. Next, we have branding. Like logo design, branding is focused on how a company, business, or product is presented visually. But unlike logo identity that focuses on a small creative aspect, Branding looks to develop a much wider visual identity, which can cover a lot of touch points. When designing for branding, you will be problem solving how visual elements can be used to communicate clear values, build visual personas, and distinguish one from the competition. For branding, one may focus on creating design for corporate business, boutique business, property marketing, events and festivals, stationery, merchandise, and packaging, to name a few. For branding, particular skills would be required for research and discovery, conceptual thinking, generating ideas, creative software tools, color theory, typography, creative layout, and presenting. If you love the challenge to build visual personas to define distinct personalities and brands, then you may want to focus on a career in branding. Complementary areas of expertise are logo identity, creative strategy, surface design, type design, packaging design, graphic illustration, and publication design. Next, we have graphic illustration. Now, illustration in the traditional sense is a completely different creative discipline when applied to animation, storybooks, and graphic novels. These are not associated with graphic design so much, more so with the creative arts. When it comes to graphic design, illustration can be incorporated in a more simple, graphic way to enhance visual communication. For graphic illustration, one may focus on creating icons for brands, artwork for infographics, hand lettering, 3D renders, custom typography, motifs for pattern and texture, artwork for posters, and artwork for t-shirts and merchandise, to name a few, all of which can be used in broader design. For graphic illustration, particular skills would be required for research and discovery, conceptual thinking, sketching and drawing, and creative software tools. If you like getting hands-on with visual elements, enjoy illustration, and crafting bespoke graphic artwork, you may want to focus on a career based more on graphic illustration. Complementary areas of expertise include logo design and surface design. So next we have design marketing. Now, an emerging role that is becoming more specialized in the field of graphic design is design for marketing, which can also be referred to as social media design. Design marketing is focused on strategic communication for advertising or promotion and is heavily applied on digital platforms like social media. When designing for marketing, you will be thinking more about pure communication, audience, message, and the dynamics of the digital platforms it's applied to. For design marketing, one may focus on creating design for social media, advertisements, and augmented reality, to name a few. For design marketing, particular skills would be required for conceptual thinking, generating ideas, creative layout, and creative software tools. If you love coming up with design solutions to promote products or companies specifically on social media platforms, you may want to focus on a career based more on design marketing. Complementary areas of expertise include branding, creative strategy, and motion graphics. So next we have type design. Type design is focused on creating new typefaces and fonts or creating custom type compositions. A type designer may focus on creating 
custom typefaces, hand lettering, and sign lettering, all of which can be used in broader design. For type design, particular skills would be required for typography, sketching and drawing, and creative software tools. So if you love typography and like the idea of crafting your own typefaces or creating custom hand lettering, you may want to focus on a career based more on type design. Complementary areas of expertise include graphic illustration. Next, we have publication design. Now, publication design is one of the more traditional areas and focuses on design for presentation across print and digital. A publication designer may focus on design for print, creating magazine covers and layouts, leaflets and flyers, newspaper layouts, book covers, stationary design, brochure design, directories, manuals and catalogues, to name a few. When focusing more on design for digital, one may be creating social media and PowerPoint or keynote presentations. For publication design, particular skills would be required for typography, creative software tools, creative layout, and presenting. So if you love working with type, typesetting, and creating informative presentations for both print and digital, then you may want to focus on a career based more on publication design. Complementary areas of expertise include type design, motion graphics, branding, and design marketing. Next, we have web UI UX design. Now, a huge area that is becoming more prominent in the field of graphic design is design for web UI and UX. This area focuses all around communication, presentation, and user experience, both online and offline. Now, I don't want to confuse this with web development here. Web development is more about coding. From a graphic design perspective, one will typically only concern themselves with the front end, which is the visual appearance, design, and experience. As a web, UI, and UX designer, one may focus on design for websites, apps, game UI, exhibits, interactive media, and augmented reality. For web, UI, UX design, particular skills would be required for wireframing, user journey, user experience, interface design, creative software tools, and creative layout. If you love creating digital work and crafting bespoke and interesting digital experiences, then you may consider focusing on a career based more on web, UX, and UI design. Complementary areas of expertise include publication design and creative strategy. Up next, we have motion graphics. Now, animation in the traditional sense is a completely different creative discipline when applied to, say, motion pictures, character and environmental design. These are not associated with graphic design so much, more so to creative art and film. When it comes to graphic design, motion graphics can be incorporated in a more subtle way to enhance and add dynamics to visual communication. As a motion graphics designer, one may focus on design for animated infographics, animated typography, animated social media posts, TV advertisements, animated logo sequences, video presentations, video effects and transitions, and animated GIFs. For motion graphics, particular skills would be required for editing, audio mixing, creative software tools, 3D modeling, and presenting. So if you love the idea of taking your 2D design and bringing it to life in a dynamic way on screen, then you may want to focus on a career based more on motion graphics. Complementary areas of expertise include publication design and graphic illustration. Next, we have surface design. Now, surface design is the practice and focus of creating artwork specifically to be used as decoration, either alone or with other visual elements, with the aim to create a distinct tone and appearance and can consist of patterns or textures. Such patterns and textures are then used to enhance the visual aesthetic or function of a design piece. As a surface designer, one may focus on design for branding, packaging, wallpaper design, and design for textile and fabrics, all of which can be used and applied in broader design. For surface design, particular skills would be required for research and discovery, conceptual thinking, 
sketching and drawing, creative software tools, and creative layout. If you like getting hands-on with visual elements, enjoy illustration, and crafting bespoke artwork for patterns and textures, you may want to focus on a career based more on surface design. Complementary areas of expertise include graphic illustration and branding. So finally, we have creative strategy. Today, we are starting to see the emergence of more creative strategy based roles, where people will exclusively offer creative advice and consultation. Now, creative strategy can be particularly valuable if a client has no idea what is good for them creatively. Now, they might not have a design brief and they may want help discovering what they are about and what would work best for them. Brand strategy, for example, is a role becoming more clear and prominent today. Brand strategy will not be thinking about the creative solution or design initially, but rather focus on what the client needs to do creatively in order to be successful. Creative strategy is focused more on discovery, discovering the creative potential of something first in preparation to inform and drive better design and creative solutions later. This can take the form of workshops and group sessions where discussion can be had to discover and reveal such information. The purpose here is to get a deep understanding of the client and their goals in order to gain a better understanding to identify any unique qualities stories, insights, and unique needs. This can really help clients understand exactly what they need and what they should do creatively. This process can ultimately result in a thorough design brief, which can then be passed over to design teams to initiate and focus on the design process. For creative strategy, particular skills would be required for question asking, strategic thinking, communication, guidance, consultation, and brief making. So if you love identifying creative potential and helping clients overcome creative challenges, then you may want to focus on a career based more on creative strategy. Complementary areas of expertise include branding. So those are some of the main key areas of graphic design one can find themselves specializing in as one matures in the industry. If you would like to take a closer look at the list discussed in this video, you can find out more in the PDF document that accompanies this video. Download link is in the description. So what are your key areas? Which area do you work in? Do you specialize in one or do you work across a few? And if you are new to design, which area do you think you would like to specialize in most? Let me know in the comment section. And if you have anything to add to my list, be sure to share. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of more design discussion videos like this in the future. Also, if any of you have any other design topics you would like to see me discuss, be sure to pop them in the comments or email me at creative at garethdavidstudio.com and I'll look to create another discussion video like this in the future. Until then, have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.